Hey everyone, it's Lens Addict here, and today I'm in an Intel Atom Tesla Model 3, and we're gonna have a look at the infotainment and see if it's really that bad compared to AMD Ryzen. So let's get started. So here's a look at the uh, Intel Atom infotainment. So I've seen some videos saying that it's quite slow and laggy, but in my experience, I actually didn't find it to be that bad. Um, seems to load stuff pretty quickly. Keep in mind that we're also on like relatively low bars of Wi-Fi, sorry, of um, LTE. But anyway, let's have a look at um, the loading speed of like the maps and so we'll never get to a nearby supercharger. Let's see, what about the photos? Oh, they don't expand, let's go. Drive southwest on M8 for 8.7 kilometers. Let's see, what about going for like the menus and stuff like that? Um, Let's try some of the toy box items, like, um, for instance, Sketchpad. So there is a little bit of latency, but it's not too bad. Let's see what else we can try. Let's try looking at the dash cam clips. Oh, let's try. Oh yeah, so looking at the dash cam clip, so here's a little bit of latency here, as you can see. Oh no, it actually loaded up behind the current UI. So let's try opening up the cameras. That's the delay on cameras. Let's try looking at the sentry mode. So there's a little bit of latency, but nothing too bad. Switching between the cameras is reasonably quick. Uh, let's try toy, the toy box. So we'll see how about... Well, actually, this is a little bit laggy, rotating around the car. But once again, it's not like deal-breakingly slow. It's just, you can see it's like slower FPS. Than what you might be used to. Let's see if the tires are the ones that we want under service. Yeah, they're the Aero V2s. They look like the V1s on there. Let's see what else. Let's try... Always Rainbow. Hmm. Let's try Mars. No. Let's try Tracks. See how long that takes to load. They're not too bad, but not super fast either. We'll see if this plays. Yeah, so it's dropping frames. It's not like you can see some weird tearing, but it's not like unusably bad or anything like that. Let's try playing the keyboard. So let's see how that goes. No, there's a bit of a latency there. Yeah. Alright, let's see what else we can try. Uh, let's try playing some of the games under arcade, some of the more complex ones. Let's try, like... Oh god, did not tell the music to play. Um, let's try this game. See what the latency is like.
Oh, wow. 29 turns of stone. I guess you have an enemy. I've never actually played this game before. Let's see what else. Uh, let's try Skyforce. See what the like, graphics and latency is like on that. Yeah, so things load a little bit slowly, but it's not, like, unusably bad or anything like that, in my honest opinion. Well, this is a little bit slow to load. But the graphics look reasonably okay, like, um, you know, for Intel Atom, it seems to, there is a few frame drops though, like you can see this kind of juddering frame dropping, which is a little disappointing. But the game itself, once again, like, seems quite playable. There are frame drops though, I don't know if you can tell. Which is a little bit disappointing. Let's try... Oh, it looks like the car's gone and adjusted the brightness again, even though I turned off the um, auto brightness adjustment. Not sure why it's done that. Uh, maybe I'll just put the phone to auto adjust the brightness again. Sorry about that if it went a bit dark. Uh, I told the car to hold it on max brightness, but it obviously didn't obey that. Uh, let's try another. Yeah, this one's pretty graphically intensive. Beach buggy racing. See, now when I don't let it lock, though, you see the really dark screen with the fingerprint. So I'm just going to lock the exposure. I'm hoping the car doesn't try and change it on me again. Crossing fingers. Let's try one player. I know you can actually use this steering wheel, but I prefer to use touch controls. So this one, you can see the resolution isn't, it's not the native resolution of the Tesla screen. I believe in the AMD Ryzen it is from having an AMD Ryzen Tesla in the past. But once again, still quite playable. Like, you know, I think what I'd be worried about if I had the AMD Ryzen was, I mean, sorry, if I had Intel Atom was like future upgradability, like potentially, you know, new features that you don't get that the AMD Ryzen does. Because the Intel Atom has been around for quite a while. Um, but yeah, this game's also, like, quite playable still, like, it's not like the Intel Atom is useless. But the graphics are definitely not as, um, not as high quality as they are on the, um, AMD Ryzen. Alright, let's see some, like, day-to-day -day stuff. Let's get out of this game. Oh, see, it's dimmed the brightness down again. We'll just put it back up again. Um, what about... Even, like, going through the menus, you can see, like, some frame drops. But, once again, like, that's a little bit laggy. But it's not, like, unusably bad. Um, let's try, like, the theater. Let's try, like, Tesla tutorials. And then we'll try YouTube. I know YouTube, I've heard, is quite laggy, so we'll try that out as well. This is definitely slower to load than in... The, um, oh, it looks like they just use YouTube for these tutorials. That's pretty cool. Uh, so let's go play Essentials. Oh, the quality is pretty Tesla. low. This video will provide a high-level overview Can of the essentials you need to know. Oh, no, it's, seven, it's 1080. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Uh, need to know to take your first drive. Be sure to watch the rest of the videos in the series to learn everything you need. As you walk away from your car, yeah. So the, the video has flash, like kind of and your mirrors fold, framed dropping, showing that but once again, like not unusable. Just could be better. Let's try the web browser, and we'll go to like Google. See how that goes. We'll Google search Google. That loaded reasonably quick. Let's go to Google. Then we'll go to YouTube. So that's quite laggy there. 
Let's try this again. YouTube. We'll go to YouTube. Looks like it recognizes that we've gone to YouTube and it's full screened it for us, which is pretty handy. Um, let's have a look at my channel, which doesn't come up, which is a bit disappointing. Oh, there it does. And we'll have a look at uh, this video, which is a Tesla related video, and we'll see what kind of quality we get as well. For goodness sake, oh no, too many ads. Oh no, I've accidentally visited the advertiser. So that's a bit laggy, to be honest. Like, it's not unusably bad, but it's certainly not like fast loading. Uh, and this site itself is quite laggy. How do we go back? We can't. Uh, let's go back to browser. Yes, this is a little slow. Let's try again. Um, Alright, we're back in. Let's see this video. Hopefully there's not another ad. I think there might be, though. And then we'll skip through. Buttons I'm always pressing the most. Oh wow, let us go straight to 260. Let's try, let's not do that because I don't think it's going to load. Oh, so it's kind of like a toggle. Is there a way to see them all? No, you just have to toggle through them. Let's try 1080. That's a good test. See if it can play 1080. It's in the most, same with the windscreen wipers. Well, 1080 seems to be, be okay. Sort of let's try 1440p. Being able to zip around so that one, that not very good, as you can see, quite a few frame drops. Seems okay the now. That the acceleration, the speed that this car has, technically makes it safer because when you're joining roundabouts, when you're joining the yeah, that's okay. But yeah, there's a few frame drops there. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Let's try title. Let's give a title a go. Title's lossless music, and we'll go. Let's see. I'm going to turn the volume down so I don't get copyright striked, but yeah, it takes a while to play. It hasn't started playing yet. So that's a little bit laggy. It's actually very laggy. Let's try this song instead. So that song started playing right away. What about this song? That one started playing right away. Maybe it was just the first song. That one played right away. Yeah, so this one's playing okay now. Okay. Let's do some more um, like navigation stuff. Um, so we'll zoom in. Let's have a look. Let's get directions. Drive southwest on M8 for 8.7 kilometers. All right, that worked. Uh, that wasn't too slow. Let's. I've heard that like non-satellite maps are much slower, so let's try that one. Mm, so it's a little bit slow. It could be the low reception though, but you know, what about dragging around? So dragging around the map, that's not too bad, but there is some latency there. Um, I'm unsure if this is because I have low reception or it's because of the processing on the device though. That is very slow, but the fact that it zooms in and moves around quite quickly leads me to believe that it might not be that. I wonder if the vector maps will load if you zoom out all the way. This is very slow. Could it be the LTE? I don't know. This is terribly slow. Worse than satellite. Um, 
Well, now it seems to be loading okay. Don't know what that was. Maybe it was the lack of mobile data. I'm not sure. Seems to be loading quite quickly now, though. Oh, so it's the zooming out that seems to seems to struggle. Yeah, so this is what something I would say is a little bit laggy, a little bit disappointingly laggy, to be honest. Um, hmm. What else have we got that we could go through? Let's try... Let's try... Um, energy view. That's oh, pretty quick. Loading through that. What about... Um... Try radio. That loads relatively quick. I hope you all really enjoyed this video of the Tesla Model 3 Intel Atom infotainment. Let me know if you have any questions about how that works and the speed of any other things you want to see, and I'll do my best to answer it. Uh, just leave them down in the comments below and I'll, I'll help you out. If you liked the video, give it a like, and if you disliked it, give it a dislike. Uh, subscribe for more content. See you all in the next video. Lens Addict out.